Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, fly fish fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today we're going to be tying a fly that, well, I'll be honest, I hate tying. Um, it's not the not the fly that I like tying the most. Um, and I know some people out there are going to cringe at this fly because it's a it's a it's a lure if they want to call it that uh, from from Britain. But uh, if you want to catch fish, you need this one in your box sometimes. So um here we go we will be tying the squirmy wormy um in chartreuse green this one you can do this in many different colors uh, the reason i don't like tying this is because i don't like this material i just don't like the squirmy wormy material it's really tough to to work with sometimes it can uh it doesn't like cooperating so um really there's just two materials in this fly I'm just going to center that for you guys and then I'll focus. Um, <clears throat> besides the thread, there's two materials. There's the squirmy wormy and then there's going to be some uh, some straggle string. Um, if, uh, where did I put the straggle fluorescent? No, I don't want the fluorescent yellow. I want the green, the chartreuse. Where did I put it? And you don't want to use the long. You want to use just a actually... There we go, fluorescent green. The shorter straggly legs, not the big long ones. So, All right, so <clears throat> start your start your thread. I'm going to be I'm using uh, Zemperfly Classic Waxed Fluorescent Green. Uh, two reasons: one, because I don't have a fluorescent green in in the Nano, which is one. But the more important, um, the Nano has a tendency to to cut the squirmy wormy material. Um, so I just. Uh, try not to use it so you'll want these fairly long these squirmy so I, I'm gonna have probably three times the length of the body sticking past okay so I'm gonna go back make sure my mature my thread is flattened lay that onto my side and you the reason why because when you lay it on your side, as you tie, tie the stuff, sorry, I forgot. I always start at the front with these. I'm so used to starting at the back, right? Because that's uh, the proper way. So, start at the front here. Tie it in on my side. And then as you put one, get one or two wraps in, now you stretch it and you have it on kind of down and it'll pull it up onto the, the top okay and this is what I'm talking about why I don't like this material you see what it's it, it just doesn't like cooperating <laughs> so this front one always wants to get caught but I need to keep that front one because I need that for the second half of the fly. So, there you go. I'm gonna actually turn this light down a bit because it's actually making a bad reflection and it's hard for you guys to see it. There we go. So there is the t top part, the back part of the wormy. Now I can just go back over it and I'm gonna make sure I tie this front one where I want it now. There is several different ways of doing these squirmies. Um, this is the way I've found. I've watched several other videos from guys, especially guys from the UK. I think the UK Fly Fisher is one of them. Um, and a few others. And I just found that this, for me, this one is the most... Um, I get the most success out of getting the actual fly tied properly. So now I'm going to take a little bit of this... Uh, the uh, straggle legs, micro legs, from Zemperfly in a fluorescent green. Now you could just leave it just like that. Just finish it up and you're done, right? Um, that's, there's several different versions of these uh, these squirmy wormies um, out there. Um, this is just one that... Uh, that I've seen. Well, this is a, a, a take on one that I've seen out there and that I quite liked. Um, out of all the versions, just because of 
of the addition of the straggle and it just gives it a little bit more life if you want to call it that so now I'm just gonna wrap this stuff forward make it a nice scraggly body keeping that damn wormy stuff out of the way then you can give it pull that back and put a wrap in front and a wrap in behind again it just helps keep that squirmy wormy stuff positioned the way you want it let's hold on over top over top just lock that uh, straggle in and go in front of the eye now I'm going to cut that straggle off get that out of there tape my whip finisher and that gets uh, let's see if that's any better of it off yeah gets a uh, pretty fluorescent so the, the light kind of glows off of these things and it makes it not the greatest video but so three four turn whip finish nip that off then I'm going to take my wormy material and I'm going to match roughly the, the length so I know the tail is what I want roughly the length so I'm just gonna match my upper my front and that's it that is your squirmy wormy so, um, like I said, it's 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 one of those con controversial flies out there. Uh, you know, is it a is it a fly? Is it a lure? Is it a, you know whatever? But it's one of those things. If you want to catch fish and you're having a tough day, throw one of these things on. They uh, they do work very well. Um, let's try to center that a bit. There you go. So uh, they do work very well when when the fish are. Uh, are not too happy out there so now you can if you want take the take your velcro or whatever and just give this a bit of a a brush to make sure those none of those fibers got caught in when you did your straggle and get it nice and scraggly and that's it she's done that's uh that's the squirmy wormy Alrighty, i hope you like that like i said it's a bit of a can be a controversial one but uh one that uh, it uh if it catches fish, why not use it, right? So, tie lines, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If you have subscribed, thanks. If you have not, please consider doing so. And we'll talk to you in the next tying video.